Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video that I actually haven't done before. Um, I was actually on Sephora a few weeks ago and I was looking at their like, holiday kits that they had just launched and I picked a few of them up to review for you guys to see if they would be worth purchasing. So they do this every year around the holiday season where they'll uh, make these kits and they'll put like some full size and some mini products for like a cheaper like more affordable price so like I said I picked up a few so I thought that we'd just review them together um, and see whether they're worth it or not so the first one is the Sephora favorites makeup must-have kits and this is $48 which I think is such a great price point because you actually get four full-size items in here and I feel like these are really good like staple um, items um, but I feel like this is also great for someone who's kind of just dipping into makeup these are you know like a great way to try them but they just come like this and you just pull them open. So I haven't used most of these products in here because I already have like the full size products and you know, I could give these like away to my sister or um, someone else. So the first thing we're actually going to start with is the Marc Jacobs Mascara and I actually have not tried this out. And I can't remember who it was that was talking about this, but they loved it. Now this does have, and I'm excited, this is like out of this whole kit right here, I'm most excited to try this out. It's got the um, Hourglass Wand, which if you guys have been a subscriber to mine for a while, you know, it's like my favorite wand. It just always seems to work extremely well for me, no matter like what mascara it is. So I'm really excited to try that out. And then you do get a small travel size of the Urban Decay All Nighter. I actually have the matte version that I get in the travel size. Now the travel size is a lot taller, um, but this is a really like great overall spray. Again, I prefer the matte one, but I really like it when I'm traveling, especially if you're going to be on a plane for a really long amount of time. But I feel like this is a good one. Like they have this one. I think they have one maybe for dry skin now I'm not sure but again the all-nighter just works extremely well and something that's really great now is that if you want to set the bottom half of your face I've been using my matte one I feel like I don't have as much transfer onto my mask with um, when I put foundation on and stuff but again I feel like this is great and this is still a really nice size where you're gonna get a lot of uses out of this and then I feel like you could reuse this if you plan on traveling a few years in the future <laughs> or something depending on how things go this is just a great little one to take with you that you could refill up. So next you have the classic NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. So again, this is a blush that I have. And this is just that really pretty um, pinky kind of peach. So there we go. You can see the color a little bit better back here. But it's just a really, really good, I feel like, again, staple blush. Now this does have shimmer in it. I do feel like this one, just again from looking at it, I haven't tried this one out because I do have the other one. I do feel like this one has smaller shimmer in it than the one that I have does. But again, full size product, really, really nice. Now, here's another one of my favorite products in here. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. And this is a small, they consider this a travel size? Yeah, a travel size of the um, Peach Perfect. I have the full size right here so this is again one of my favorite products to set my entire face with like um from like here down especially with my mask but I don't like setting my under eyes with this because it does darken my concealer but this is still a great powder if you have oily skin I feel this is one of those powders that when I put it on I feel like it's just like to my skin it so I feel like if you have dry skin you might not like this powder but I still feel like it's really really great and right now I feel like a lot of people are using translucent powders and stuff from here down due to like helping with transfer and stuff. So again, just a really great addition. Um, now moving on to the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. So this one is a product that I actually have not tried. I can't do winged eyeliner, it just doesn't work with my eye shape, it just looks funny. Um, but I've heard amazing things about this eyeliner and a lot of people I watch have used this before. So that's really nice. Now, you get a full size eyebrow pencil. So I like this. It used to be one of my favorites, but it's not anymore, and it's still really good. But I'm not sure if they put the same shade in every one. I did get medium brown, which will work for me. I like this, but I prefer the Benefit one a lot better. Like if I could say, like a Sephora favorites, I would have thought the Benefit one would have been in here. But this is still a really, really good one. If you like more of a, like, it's not dry by any means, but it's not nearly as creamy and I feel like it's like flexible is the benefit one. But this is still a great um, eyebrow pencil. And again, I know a lot of people, this is their holy grail. So it was really nice to see that in there. Now for a product that I don't like, and I'm really glad I got in here because I got to try it. It's the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick. So when I first seen the swatches of these and seen how these looked, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to get one of those. And I've had these in my favorites, but I just... 
I don't know, I've never purchased it, so I was really excited when I got this kit to see this in here. And this is in the shade First Kiss, which was one of my shades that um, I had in my favorites, or in, yeah, or my love section. So, first off, I love the packaging, and you've got like this really pretty, like, gorgeous ombre effect going down right here, and then it does have kind of like that magnetic closure where it kind of takes it back. However, I hate the formula of this. I'm going to swatch the color for you guys, but I really don't like this. So here's my issue with this is when you put it on, like it kind of feels like powder, but it's like patchy. It's like when I put it on and like, I'll take it right here with this corner edge and I'll go to apply it. It's like so creamy that so much product comes off onto your lips in weird places. It's like it'll be really thick here then like a little bit thinner and it just looks really patchy. So I was like alright I'll just take my finger and blend that out and it's like when I take my finger to blend it out it almost makes it worse. I, I don't know I just don't like the formula of this. I've actually tried that three or four times and I have that same issue. I don't know if it's just that color but let, let me know if you guys tried the Huda Beauty lipsticks and if you have like what do you think about them? Do you guys still have that same problem or not? Like I guess I should have read reviews but I'm glad I got to try that out in here before I bought several of those and then lastly you've got the original Smashbox primer and again this is still quite a huge tube like a lot of product right here so I really like their primer and light it used to be my favorite my holy grail I went through so many of those if you watch my old old empties videos from back in the day um, but I really liked it I don't remember trying the original one I might have but again I'm actually using my Marc Jacobs primer right now which I love but I will be trying this one out because like I said I did love Smashbox primers I feel like that's one of their products that I feel like really stands out are their primers and they have so many different ones. So again, a really nice um, primer to try in here. So overall, do I think this kit is worth it? And my answer is absolutely. I think that not only, like I said, you get like great standout full size products like the Marc Jacobs, the Anastasia Brow Wiz, the NARS. Again, the only thing I don't like is the Huda Beauty lipstick. But I think this is a great kit that if you want to kind of dive into these or you've been curious about some of these products, this is great. Or if you're someone that these are some of your staples, this is also a great kit to get some staples, but at the same time also maybe try out some new products. So I really like this one and I completely and totally think that this one is worth the 40, what was that, $48? Yeah, the $48. I completely think that this one is worth it. All right, so now we're going to move on to this smaller one here. So this is the Sephora Favorites Give Me More Lip. So this one is $45, so a few dollars cheaper. And in this one, you are, again, getting three full-size products. So I have actually tried out quite a few of these, and I don't love them. So first thing I do want to mention is I do understand that this kit is comes out during the holiday. So I understand it's more geared towards holiday colors, I feel like. So I feel like you've got your reds, then you've got, like, your nudes. So, like, I get that. But as you guys are going to see, because uh, I will swatch these for you guys, I feel like while you do have, you know, a range of different, like, options, they're all very, very similar. Like, I was hoping maybe with the reds, you'd get more of, like, a cool tone red or more of a warm tone red, but they're very, very similar. It's really just the formula that's different. So that was one, like, real drawback for me when I was, like, using this kit is I was just, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get the color scheme because of the time of the year, but... Why isn't there like a difference in undertone or some differences? So I'm gonna get started. And the first one's from Makeup Forever. Unfortunately, I don't know this shade because it's not written on here. Um, but I will go ahead and I'm gonna swatch this. This is, again, like I said, that Makeup Forever shade. These are the small travel ones, but honestly, if you're someone who has a lot of lipsticks, these are a really great option because you're not, you know, you're more likely to get through them. So the formula of this one is really, really creamy. And out of the few reds in here, this one is my favorite. It's really nice. I feel like it's one of those that you can use without a lip liner. Awesome. Love it. Now moving on to this one. This is by YSL and this is in the shade 01. This one again is a um, mini shade. Again, the same um, like shape as the Makeup Forever one. But here's the thing with this one. As you guys are going to see, the shades are... I mean, they are almost like identical. The only difference is the YSL one is a quite a bit more glossy. So I feel like as you guys can see, it looks just a little bit more shiny. But again, like the only difference between those, again, is the formula. The shades are just so similar. And then lastly, you've got one from Kat Von D. Or I 
KB, what is it now, or something vegan beauty, but this says Kat Von D, so I'm guessing this is like an old product they had. Um, this is in the shade Outlaw. I can't remember if I've had this shade or not before, but these are some pretty intense liquid lipsticks, like very drying. Again, I don't know if they, um, uh, if like they ref ever reformulated, because I haven't tried this formula in years, and I still haven't tried this one out in this set, just because liquid lipsticks are so drying right now, and my lips are dry all the time but again this one right here is a little more of a cool tone um, red and a little bit deeper but again just as you guys can see these two are just so similar I feel like there's just not a big enough range now moving up to the next product that one I was most excited about but am also most disappointed about this is by Ilia and this is their Arabian Nights and I thought this was a lipstick but this is a tinted lip conditioner first off I thought oh my gosh this is gonna be such a beautiful shade but again this is a lip conditioner however when you put this on, at least when I put it on my lips, I'm just swatching this several times to show you guys the color. So this has a very weird, like, I, like when I think of a lip conditioner, I think it's something that's very like moisturizing that kind of like preps my lips for my lipstick. But this is very like weirdly tacky. Like I feel like it sets on top of my lips. I feel like it doesn't really do anything for my lips and the texture just feels so gross i really really don't like this and i was super disappointed because one this is one of the full size products but two i really 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 wanted to like this but again like i said i don't i like lip conditioners but this to me is just not a good one now next is a product that i actually do really like so this is from fenty beauty and this is their stun of lip paints um their red is like one of my all-time favorites it's such a classic but this is in the shade unbutton which again was one of the ones that i did want to purchase the thing about her liquid lipsticks is though is you want to not only line your lips but you want to fill them in with a lip pencil as well because if you don't I do feel like they bleed and they kind of feather if you don't completely fill your lips in and give it something to grip onto. But they're very very comfortable and really nice to wear if you're someone who has drier lips. This is a great liquid lipstick formula. And this is of course a lighter nude but again it's just really really pretty. Um, shade and I do like the formula and like I said this one yes. Now, moving on to the Too Faced, this is the Liquefied Lipstick in Sellout. So I actually have this, it's one of my all-time favorite nude shades, so I'm actually going to grab it. Alright, so I just wanted to grab my full size shade so I didn't have to use this one so I could give it to my sister. Um, but again, this is one of my all-time favorite nude shades, and Too Faced has one of my favorite formulas. It can be a little bit drying, but it's not nearly as drying as that Kat Von D one. But again, as you guys are going to see, I mean... They're not exactly the same, but I do feel like they, again, are just somewhat similar. I was expecting just, like I said, a very different, I guess, selection. And then moving on to one that I was really excited about as well, which is a um, full-size product. This is from the Patrick Ta brand, and this is the Monochromatic Moment Silky Lip Cream in She's Independent. So when I first tried this on, this is a very, like, thick lip gloss if you're someone who doesn't like that thick and I don't want to say it's goopy because it's it's not goopy it's but it's thick does that make any sense at all it kind of reminds me of like a lip cream like you know those um L'Oreal liquid lipsticks like the come from the chocolate line like how they for liquid lipstick how they have that like thicker kind of like goopier texture this is what this has but it's a lip gloss so it's not like as goopy but again see the similarity between those two shades it's so similar but I do really like this and it's really nice to wear under lip liners. Of course, I'll be honest, I've probably just worn this about four or five times around my house because, I mean, I don't wear lipsticks when I've got my mask on or I'm going out and about. But I do really, really like this and again, it's a full size product so I would like to try out some more shades from this line but this is like the perfect, what I would think in summertime, just liner and gloss, that would be like the perfect product one is a NARS Audacious Lipstick. I know a lot of people love these. Again, this is like a smaller um, one, but like I said, I don't have a problem with these because I do feel like if you're someone who has a lot of lipsticks in your collection, you would get through through these really quickly. Um, but let me see here if I can get a good swatch. This is one of my favorite ones, and again, I love the formula of these. But again, just the nude shades, I feel like looking at them even like right here on my hands, you guys can see it's just not, I feel like, the best selection that I would hope for when I was going to purchase a lip kit. And overall, I just, this one's going to be a no for me. Um, and another thing that really contributes to this being a no is who's wearing lipsticks right now? While I get that this is like a holiday scent, like 
I just wear them around the house or when I'm just wanting to put on makeup. And a lot of times I will put on a lipstick and then before I go in the store, I will just wipe it off. Just because usually I have a lipstick or a lip balm on something to give my lips some type of moisture. But I just feel like out of all the lip kits, I would, or all the like holiday kits, I would skip on this one just because I don't think that the range is very good when it comes to the actual color selection. I was just expecting a lot more. So for me, this one is just going to be a pass. Um, I think you'd be better off getting the last kit um, or this next kit that I'm going to be talking about, which is probably my favorite. This is the Sephora Favorites Lash Stash, and this is $48, so the same price as the Makeup Favorites. This now, I feel like it's a perfect kit for this time of the year, because I feel like a lot of people are really focusing a lot more on their eye makeup and lashes because again you're just seeing everybody from like here up so I think that this is a perfect kit now this one right here you do I believe get three full-size products again yeah you get three full-size products in this one as well so we're gonna go ahead and some of these I have tried and some of these I actually have not tried so I'll give you guys just like I said many reviews and really quick so this is the Pat McGrath um Mascara again. I have heard somebody talk about this. Was it Kathleen Lights? Because she's like one of the only YouTubers that I feel like I consistently watch. But I can't remember. But someone's talking about this about how they loved it. So again, I'm excited to try it out. Now I have tried this one out a few times and I really, really don't like it. Which honestly, that was no surprise to me because I usually don't like mascaras with a rubber wand. This is the new Urban Decay Lash Freak. Um, I was excited to see like more newer mascaras in here as well because this is a newer one. But this one has a rubberized wand and it's so weird. I mean, it's got like this weird like U-shaped. Do you guys see that? It's like, I don't know. I just really don't like it. But the like little rubber, rubber spikes for one, I feel like anytime I might accidentally poke myself in the eye, it hurts. But I feel like it makes my like lashes look like very spidery and like yes it like lengthens them I feel like but they look very like spidery and it just I don't like it I don't like it and I just really don't like rubberized wands I feel like I have a hard time really building up or getting any kind of volume with wands like that so don't like this one so far um this one I'm kind of on the fence about so this is the benefit well if I can get this one out of here the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Again, now this is a small one. This one does have a rubberized wand. Like I said, it's one of the I just don't really like rubberized wands. But this one, they're very tiny and there's a lot of them. And I feel like where it does go from larger to like bigger, I can just kind of sit there and like work in my inner corners and go like this. But again, I feel like it just doesn't let me build volume. And, but again, it does give really nice length, but I feel like it doesn't do that like spidery effect that the Urban Decay one does. So again, like this one's not bad, but it's not my favorite mascara so far. All right, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I'm not going to open, so I'm gonna give this to my sister because this is one of her all-time favorite mascaras. I really don't like this mascara. Like, okay, I love the wand. I love how much volume, I love how it makes my lashes look. However, whenever I get hot or sweaty in the summertime and like if I go like this and look up, it leaves like, you know, the little dots from your lashes and it really transfers down here on my under eye. And my sister says she doesn't have that issue, but it does it to me and I just, like I love the formula and I love how it makes my lashes look, but I just don't like how it wears and how it lasts throughout the day. Alright, next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, let's see, Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. Again, I feel like this is a newer one, but this has that really nice hourglass wand. I haven't tried this one out yet. Like I said, there's just been so many to try out, if it'll focus. But I love the hourglass wand, so I do feel like I'm going to like this one. Again, it does seem like a drier formula right away, but excited to try this one. Now, next is another product from Ilia. And again, I just really, really like their like packaging it's just very sleek and very simple so this is a ooh, pretty tight wand in there but this one again has that hourglass wand it's kind of hard to see because it's, it's very like barely hourglass but this does have like a rubber like those are little rubber wands haven't tried this one yet so I don't know if I'm gonna like this one but like next you get a full-size product so this is the see velour effortless lashes and these I think are pretty perfect for me because I like more like natural lashes because where I have hooded eyes if I'm wearing these thick lashes and I'm looking right at you you can't see my eyeshadow and all the work that I've done so I don't wear false lashes often but these are a style that's very I feel like me they're very natural and they look like they're really going to fit on my like my eyes where I'm not gonna have to trim them the only thing that does worry me is the band is really really thick and I usually don't like thicker bands but again haven't given those a try yet, but 
I am going to. All right, so the last three products, this is the Grande Lash Enhancing Serum. So I haven't used their Lash Enhancing Serum because I have blue eyes and I don't, like, I don't know if they still do this, but all the time I hear people like their blue eyes turning gray when I use these. So Lash Serums freak me out and I've never used them, but I love this brand's brow serum. It done like miracles for my brows. I actually need to purchase some more of that now that I think about it, but I actually might use this in my brows. Um, but I do love their brow product, so I can't speak for that, how well that works, but I don't know how well this works. And again, I haven't tried it out because it makes me nervous to use an eyelash serum. All right, next is the Lancome Boost XL. So I, again, I have not tried this one, but this is like those white mascaras. And I don't know if you guys remember, but back in the day, the drugstore used to come out with, it had a white mascara on one end and then the black mascara on the other. And I had the hardest time with those because while I did feel like the white mascaras, like yeah, it's only giving me that chunky, like more volume, it was so hard. And I had to keep coating my lashes with black to cover it that my lashes were so thick and like heavy and too chunky. Um, but I am excited to try this because the formula of this just does seem to be like more like lightweight and more like liquidy, not as like chunky. And then lastly, I have tried this out. This is the um, Blink Mascara Amplified. It says stop painting your lashes, tube them. So I have tried a few tubing mascaras and I think you either love tubing mascaras or you hate them. And the reason they're not my favorite is I feel like I can't really get that volume with them. I feel like they add beautiful length, but not enough volume. And this one is no exception. I do really like this wand. It's like a really nice uh, fluffy wand. And like I said, I do like it, but it's just like, no matter how much I sit there and just like, you know, work up, I just feel like, again, I get beautiful length, but not as much volume as I would like. But this is easy to remove because it comes off. Like you just take clouding like your fingers, what I'll take out and go like this and they, comes off in like little tubes um so it is easy to take off but again it's just not my favorite for me personally if you're someone who just wants length then you're gonna love this but if you're someone who wants a volume you know it probably won't be your favorite but overall do i think that this kit is worth it absolutely and if you're going to be getting any kit for anyone this year i definitely think it should be this one or if you're going to be getting any kit for yourself this year definitely go with this one because like i said it's not that the lip one was, I mean, it's just not my favorite, but like one, I mean, who's wear, you know, wearing a lot of lip products right now and just the variety of colors was not the best, but I think that this one or the, what was, let's see, the other one was called, the Lash Stash is what this is called. So the Lash Stash is worth it and I do feel like the Sephora Favorite Makeup Must Haves is worth it. Again, I think both these kits are a great way to try different brands. This one right here to maybe try a lot of favorites or to even stock up on some of your favorites plus get to try out some new things. But this lash one's definitely my favorite because, I mean, you're just getting to try so many different. It's not just mascaras. You know what I'm saying? You've got, like, different mascaras. So you've got some tubing mascaras in here. Again, you've got, like, a... Um, more like a boosting product in here. You've got a lash serum in here. Just again, it's a great kit where you're gonna get to try out a lot of different stuff. And for just 48 bucks, I definitely feel like it's a steal. So I would highly recommend that one. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys would like me to pick up some of the smaller kits that I know have launched over the last few weeks, I can do that and review those for you guys. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.